Hello everyone, welcome to another Versus Video Deck Tech. I am BBD, joined alongside by... Not Andrew Shrout. Not, not Andrew Shrout. CVM. CVM. I'm just going to actually repeat everything you say for the next five minutes. All right, silence of this. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're ready to unmute and still not hear anything. But uh, yeah, we got a sweet deck here for you. Uh, last weekend was Pro Tour M15. Uh, I was in attendance and played a boring deck and went 5-5 five and five with it. Hold on, let me guess. Did it have Packrat and Elspeth in it? It did. How did I know? It also had Obs of that, so yeah. lucky guess. Um, so I am playing a deck that Michael Majors and Dan Jordan also played in the tournament, which is Naya. Mm -hmm. um, kind of similar to the deck that I played at GP Chicago, uh, has has you know the dirty perf along with sign of Vitugazi to output a ton of damage, uh, but it cuts down on some of the expensive cards like Elspeth mm -hmm. and Mizium Mortars as and in the, it instead is relying on um, a much lower mana curve overall, uh, alongside Court of Calling as well. Um, so there's a couple of nifty cards to court for, one of which is actually Perforos himself. So uh, I got to actually watch. Michael attack with a Brimaz, make a Cat Soldier, then Cord for Perforos, and then post combat play Sign of Vitugazi to kill an opponent one round. So that was wow. that was pretty sweet. So <laughs> there are a lot of uh, cool interactions with this deck, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get into basically the heart of the deck here. So we have some mana acceleration and some cheap powerful creatures like Voice, Brimaz, and Pelucranos. Mm -hmm. So these cards are all like very good on their own, um, but also great with Cord because uh, like Brimaz provides two two tokens to cord with, um, Voice can provide multiple creatures to cord with as well. Uh, so these are all good cord targets as well as being good cord creatures as well to fuel the cord. Mm -hmm. um, so it really works out like pretty well with that. Uh, we also have a couple of one ofs. We have Skylaster and Phyrexian Revoker, just as tutor targets. Um, Skylaster seems a little loose, but this deck seems real bad against Mono Blue, so I guess that's a concession there. Yeah. And Revokers... So, sometimes you just get them. Yeah, sometimes you just get them. Um, and then Revoker's pretty sweet with... Uh, you can respond to your opponent casting a Planeswalker and uh, cord for Revoker in response to shut out their Planeswalker from doing anything. So uh, pretty sweet combos there. Uh, and then still the classic sign of a Tugazi Perforos combo. We have Xenagos, Banishing Light, and Celestia Charm just as additional uh, value, basically, mm -hmm. cards. Um, the mana base is a little painful for Battlefield Forge and for Mana Confluence, along with like eight Shocklands. Uh, so I imagine that you have to deal a lot of damage to yourself with the mana base, which could be a problem if you're playing against a deck like Mono Red. Yeah, who would play that? Yeah, who would be a madman enough to play that? But uh, this is the main deck for the Nye deck. Let's go ahead and look at the sideboard and see what options we have there. All right, we are back with the sideboard. Uh, to start things off with, we have three Satessan Tactics, which are uh, pretty fantastic with cards like Brimaz and Pelucranos in general. Just uh, lets you kind of fight very good against decks like Mono Blue. Let's your lets your big old dirtily green guys like fight their Master of Waves and yeah. so forth. Um, a Johnny Mentor of Heroes. But we also have two a Johnny Steadfast. Um, they kind of are for different matchups. Like Steadfast is good against aggressive decks, uh, gaining you a lot of life, whereas Mentor of Heroes is better against like the grindier mid-range decks where you don't mm -hmm. care that much about gaining life, you just want to generate like consistent advantage. And like pumping a guy bigger than like a demon uh, or searching your deck for more guys is, is pretty important. Yeah. Uh, we have another cord which also comes in alongside some cord targets like Spirit of the Labyrinth and Reclamation Sage. Uh, Sage is just an all-around powerful ha like card to, to have access to. You want to be able to get things like Biden of Thassa, Detention Sphere, Banishing Light, Corsair, Crufix, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and then Spirit of the Labyrinth is a really sweet one to cord for in response to a Sphinx's Revelation. They can gain some life, they will not be drawing some cards. Yep. So Not to mention that it's a three power creature for only two mana. They can put some pressure on a control opponent, and it does not die to last breath. So that actually has a pretty good body, too. Yep. Yeah. Lot, lots of girls looking at that body. Um, oh, yeah. He works out. Zenith. Uh, in the Revelation matchup, he works out. Uh, Xenagos the Reveler, uh, having a fourth access, a fourth copy of Xenagos, having access to a fourth copy of Xenagos is pretty awesome uh, against like Mono Black 
Uh, Xenagos, as we have discovered, is one of the best threats in the format against Mono Black. It's very good against Mono Black. So uh, you definitely want four there. Uh, a couple more Skylashers for the dreaded Mono Blue matchup. And then Archangel of Thune, um, good in a lot of like creature mirrors. Uh, also good against like red decks or burn decks uh, as a way to gain some life. Yep. It's a little slow. Sometimes it's, it's too slow, but... Uh, if you do get going with Archangel of Thune, it, it definitely takes over the game really fast. Yeah, it's one of those cards where if you like get to untap with it and they don't have like a skull crack, you're probably not going to lose. <laughs> yeah, they always have a skull crack, but you know maybe one time they bricked. So uh, I think this deck's pretty sweet, uh, kind of similar to a deck I've been playing for a long time, um, but definitely went in a different direction with it. So I'm excited to see uh, how it plays out relative to my own experiences with this archetype. Yeah. So let's battle. <laughs> 